Hi everyone, um, I wanted to do a products that I regret buying video. Um, I've gone through my stuff and there is still a few that I've got. Um, I'm sure anything that I've kind of disliked I've probably given away or you know sold on a blog sale so these are the things that I still have. I'm sure there have been loads of stuff. <laughs> So I'll start with hair things. There's only one thing in regards to hair which I've regretted buying and it is the sea salt sprays for like curly hair. I've got the super drug one which I didn't mind buying because it was like a quid. I've got the Tony and... oh no that's something else sorry. Um, I've got the Lee Stafford one, sea salt spray and I've got the Tony and Guy one. These, if you have poker straight hair, these do jack shite, quite frankly. They do nothing to your hair apart from make it super crispy. If you can't get curls, if you find that curls fall out of your hair, you probably won't ever be able to get curly hair because I was the same until I got a perm. Curls would just fall out all the time. So sea salt sprays will not work for you. I haven't really experimented yet to see if they work in permed hair. But if you have straight hair, don't bother, seriously. Uh, they are a waste of money. Uh, and I would not ever buy one again. Um, the, so there is two things for hair. This is a Tony and Guy. Uh, protein protection mist. Essential protection from styling damage. Um, this spray conditions detangles for shiny and more manageable hair. Right. When I got my perm done, they used a protein spray from their other brand, Label M. I think Tony and Guy it's called. It's like in white packaging. I'll find out and put the link below to the actual product. And it smelled so nice. And it obviously did detangle my hair because after it was permed, they couldn't brush it. So they sprayed loads of this through and it was really nice. So I went out and I bought the Tony and Guy one thinking it was probably pretty much the same. It isn't. This one, A, stinks. B, Manchester, I think all the Tony and Guy products stink to be honest. They all have the same smell and it's a bit horrible. It does absolutely nothing. It's the com most completely pointless product so don't buy it please. Um, in terms of facial care I have three. This is the Boots Botanics uh, face, nourishing, face Nourishing Eye Makeup Remover. And it kind of is this like yellow kind of gel. And it's basically um, like an oil cleanser basically. Um, and you just swirl it around, you remove your makeup. It smells like chip fat. Um, really not pleasant and it's uncomfortable when you have it on your face I didn't enjoy using it at all I think I used it like twice it's the thing with balm cleansers is they I find them really easy to use and oil cleansers I feel find them really easy but in between it makes my skin really uncomfortable when it's on my face so I really didn't enjoy it and it's nothing special, I mean it removes your makeup but I just, I couldn't bear using it again so I definitely wouldn't recommend it. If you want like a similar thing, the Boots Botanics do the big pot and it says not to use it on your eyes but it's absolutely fine, I did and it didn't bother me at all. Another thing is the Origins Modern Frictions um, Exfoliator, Nental, Nature's Gentle Dermabrasion. This looks like that and how they c it's really I don't know I just don't think it's what it's advertised as the um, it spreads well it smells well that smells familiar That smells reminds me of my childhood and I don't know why. Oh god, what's that smell like? Oh, that takes me back. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it smells like when I was a kid, something that I used to eat or 
something, I don't know, I've got it all over my nose now. Um, to me, if you're going to advertise something as dermabrasion or, you know, which equals in people's heads microdermabrasion, the particles that are exfoliating your the particles that are exfoliating your face need to be tiny and they need to be packed into it. With this, I didn't think they were. I don't think there's enough. I mean, my 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 hand feels nice, but to me, if you're gonna kind of go along the microdermabrasion route, it has to be like the boots boots the body shop microdermabrasion vitamin c one that is absolutely it just feels like you're rubbing sand on your face this just feels a little bit non exfoliating to me although my skin does feel really nice it just smells so nice to me <laughs> anyway um it's not worth the money i think that's the main point of it i mean this is just like a little travel size but it's really not worth the money to me you can get really be much better exfoliators for cheaper and then finally my stravectin sd eye cream i'm including this because it is a very expensive eye cream very expensive i got it a really good deal you get 40 mils, which is massive for an eye cream. It is absolutely huge, I will say that. But to me, it did, it kept my eyes mo nicely moisturised, which is kind of what I want, but, and I don't really need massive anti-aging, but it really did nothing to really make me think it's worth that money, because again, you can get something very similar for much, much cheaper in boots. So. To me, there was no redeeming qualities that would make me buy it again. I wouldn't repurchase it, and I wouldn't recommend to people to buy it either. In terms of makeup, I have a few bits and bobs. Uh, I've been looking for like a cheaper face primer for the longest time because I love my L'Oreal one, but you know, thirteen pounds, I think it is. Is quite expensive for a high street brand so I was kind of finding another one and I heard things about the Rimmel Fix and Perfect I don't know if you can get it in England I really don't have a clue but it's like this kind of looks like orange foundation but it does dry pretty it doesn't really leave much of a colour on your face um, Compared to two, it doesn't really leave much of the colour on my face. A, it stinks really badly. Like, I don't enjoy the smell of it near my mouth, near my nose. But two, I find it really gritty on your face. Like, when you're putting it on your face, like, the L'Oreal one just is like a little cloud on your face. It's so soft and so nice. It makes your skin feel lovely. This feels gritty. And it might be to grip your makeup onto your face, but it certainly isn't to smooth it over your face. And it says smooth skin. I don't think it does at all. So to me, it's a complete waste of money. Um, you're better off investing in a bit of a higher priced primer. Um, but, you know, don't buy. It's. I mean, it wasn't a massive waste of money. I got mine on eBay because I... I'd never seen it in boots, so don't waste your money. Um, two from a brand called Pixie. This is their Natural Cheek Gel, and this is their Awakening Eye Beauty Kit. Miracle Velveteen is the colour. Pixie is the perfect name for this brand because it's tiny, like these are so expensive these palettes and they're tiny you get nothing in them and i mean this is a really good eyebrow color for me don't know who would use that on their eyes or a proper white but like it's just not worth the money they're not pigmented enough to even justify the price they're really expensive so pixie to me is overpriced and as for the natural cheek gel, and this is in fresh. Like, that's the shade. You rub it in. And there's absolutely no colour on your face. It's just like rubbing over 
a layer of shiny stuff it's just pointless so picks here are a big fat fail to me um i have to say my aqua smoky lash from makeup forever is an absolutely devastatingly disappointing mascara it costs a lot of money which i'm willing to pay if i got a really good um mascara but to me the um Number 7 one that I used recently, Exquisite Curl one, is 100% better. Um, and I'm very disappointed. The original Smoky Lash might be different. I will buy it eventually and try it. But And this is a good mascara to have because I don't have any waterproof ones. So that's one redeeming quality that it is actually waterproof. But it's not the shit like everyone says. It's okay. It's a decent mascara, but to me, it's not what everyone thinks it is, so I'm disappointed with that. It hurts a little bit. And finally, 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 MAC pigments, to me, are so just pointless disappointment. Um, because... I never buy, I never reach for them. I wore this one on my birthday, which is the 3D Silver, which is brilliant and so fun. But I mean, how often am I going to use that? And the same for the Jewel Marine. I mean, I love it, it's a beautiful colour. But how, I'm, I'm never going to use them. And as for the normal pigments, I just never reach for them. I just never reach for them. I, I prefer compact eyeshadows 100% more or like my Lily Lolo one which I always reach for you know why not downsize pigments have a big jar for professionals or have little jars for us normal people who will never get through it I mean this is 7.5 grams I know they're smaller now you don't need to tell me that one but 1.5 grams, that'll last absolutely forever. You know, and it means that you put these in your makeup bag and you use them. I never use these. These are in my makeup drawer then. They will never get used. So, MAC pigments to me are just a grand old waste of money. So there you go. Those are my disappointing slash products I regret buying um, items. Um... As I said, I probably have gotten rid of most of the ones. Excuse me. I regretted buying. I think a foundation that I regretted buying was the Revlon Colour Stay one. I used it all, but I would never buy it again. It stinks of to high heaven. It's horrible smell, and it stays on your face all day. That smell, and it's. Oh, I no, I would never buy it just for the smell. If they could do an odourless one, I would buy it because it's actually a nice foundation. But I could oh, never, ever, 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 ever buy it again from that smell. It makes me feel sick. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, if you've got any requests or anything like that, please let me know, and I will get them done. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.